Yo, 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 YouTube, what's up? It's another Bruiser gameplay. Now, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to build here, but um, I kind of want to go Trinity Stride this game, in a sense, but then I kind of want to go Titanic Hydra last, which doesn't work with this build. So maybe I'm going to go Trinity first into... Hmm. We will see, guys. Trinity Stride is just a lot of speed, you feel me? It's just a lot of speed. I'm gonna path into volley bear. I think generally speaking, killing a volley bear as AD Uli especially is pretty easy. Like you should I feel like especially in this season, you should focus on lanes that are easy to kill. Like ganking bot then and saying, okay, my captain is a harder carry than my nah, true. But my success rate on bot then ganks is going to be way lower than on top. And maybe me ganking top lane and getting all this gold there is actually going to be beneficial for my bot then too. Because then the ganks they are just better. Now I have no idea where Karth has started. Honestly, Karth's AD Udia matchup is not that... I mean, it's not bad at all, actually. It's quite easy, in my opinion, to run down a Karthus with the right build. I could try to go, like, more tanky this game. I mean, Jakshaw kind of did get uh, some quality changes, but... Eh, we will see. What if I just got Trinity Force into Titanic Hydra? How about that? See, I almost wish that... I almost wish that Stridebreaker wasn't a Tiamat item. But it still has the Tiamat passive. So I can go Titanic Hydra too. But it would be kind of awkward to use, I guess. In all these combos. No. Oh, I had a micro lag. They really hope that I'm not gonna have any PC issues. We have been having PC issues lately. I think we should walk this. No, he's bot side. Never mind. Uh, now at least we know where he is. He might gank mid then, but he's 100% gonna take his um, grab first. Top lane is viable. If he walks into this bush, I can probably do something. Is he gonna go back? I'm gonna walk up. Probably gonna fight himself here. I got his ghost, I mean. Not complaining. Damn, I took the turret shot too. No, okay, we played that absolutely retarded. Um, yeah, no, we played that absolutely bad, guys. Like, in my opinion, now I should have tanked, I should have flashed, and then we killed it like that, but that was just absolutely overkill there. I should have flashed out of the turrets too, but I actually didn't expect to tank the turret shot there, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I am not gonna lie. That was just an oopsie. An oopsie that should have never happened. Way to panic display. Now we did get the kill, which is relatively nice, but we did actually burn a lot for that. Kind of for no reason, if you ask me. And then doing some Ooga Booga. Some Ooga Booga action.
But I still think Trinity Stride would be better here because they just are a little bit more um, slippery and ranged. Bolivia has Ionian Woods. Kalfus is top set, he's 44 CS, meaning he full cleared. What then is that? That's horrible, actually. Mm. We killed mid, then he's gonna have a pretty fat back, but I just wonder if I can just kill him if he. When he comes to your top side for the crab, which he will. You have to be careful. Carthus is definitely going to be top side here. Now that he is, I kind of want to go on him. I don't have goals. I can't really do anything there. <clears throat> it does say ghost, I mean, I don't have flash. Spotting gankable. They are playing very cautiously. I assume they have this wall that they instantly walked back as soon as Akshan walked up there. They're gonna die, they're gonna get Drake here. Darfus did his top set, so there's no punish for me there. I don't think me walking is gonna do anything. Just gonna get Jinx and kill anyways. Oh, get Jinx, get excited. Which is probably not the best choice for them to play up during that time. He just watered that. This is also very weird. No, oh, never mind. Did they nerf TF card stun duration early game or something? Why is it so low? Just gonna get calf as well, so. Huh? Oh, maybe not. Maybe he assumes that. Um, I can get a plate here. He doesn't have TP anyways. So I assume that Volibear has TP right now. I'm gonna lose um, the crab outside, but I think that's fine. I'm not gonna R in case somebody walks up here. Got two plates, not bad. I'm kind of massive. I think if you play for cashback, buying boots early game can be good, of course, but you shouldn't just automatically do that because you kind of get 200 gold back from your um, Trinity purchase. I don't know if he's on Dragon right now. I could just walk there just in case. What then just back though? And to us, the fate has probably ultimate up. Didn't even take that. I am relatively confused right now. We have 15 seconds for grubs. Hmm. This game is definitely a Marks game because, ah, uh, you know what, let's just give him 
give him the grabs. I probably should have walked to his jungle, quite honestly. Okay, they're going for nah. Uh, that's fine. I think we should play for plates though. No, actually, that's that, that's wild. It's full HP too. Almost, I do not know how that would even play out. I don't think we give this stone. It's gonna go mega. Perfect. I'm gonna go grubs. I don't care about the vision. He did take one. It's pretty good rounds by my net laner there for sure. Pretty happy with that. Oh man, it feels so good to actually be able to play the game without having like a DC every two seconds. Yeah, that's what I mean, like, <clears throat> once you are on Karthus, it's pretty hard for him to deal with you. Not that hard of a matchup at all. CS is looking good. Going to CS. Gonna go into stride here. Oops. I should have probably went for uh, the mercs here. Yeah. Just waited a little bit, but it's okay. Mercs, just because twisted fate. It's like one of these things where, like, even though I'm ahead, I can still be disabled by a stun. Like a stun is a stun, right? It has nothing to do with like how ahead I am. So, since there's no tenacity in the game anymore in runes, which, by the way, I think is actually a fantastic change. Kind of makes building more clear, if you know what I mean. If you know, you know. It's like before it was kind of like, oh, I can have tenacity runes or tenacity boots or swift. Now it's just like, oh, your boots kind of dictate if you have tenacity or not for the most part in the mid to late. And your runes are just there for like offenses. That's an offensive tree, which kind of makes sense, honestly. Also, the ten, uh, the haste rune is extremely good for Phoenix, or you? Okay, use this cleanse. Um. That's fine. I think I, g I got exhausted, you know? No, 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 actually, she didn't exhaust me. She didn't exhaust me, she W'd me, the Jinx. Just gonna make it out, that's pretty good. They have Dragon and Herald now, the game is actually extremely easy from this point on. And I have 400 gold on this. I mean, you can decide if that's worth bidding two bruiser items, getting 400 gold back or having the 400 gold boots.
I'm still a kind of um, in the middle on it. On the fence, I guess. It's like cashback is kind of goaded because like after this item is just gonna be always better. No? Other than me like getting Hold up. It's always gonna be better other than like having ten minus MS. But uh, you do have like a slightly weaker early, I guess, in that sense, because like you have to buy the two items before you get. It's weird. It's weird. But then also you have more freedom with the gold you can. It's so complicated, honestly. But I think it's just overall gonna be a thing where like it either feels right or it doesn't. At once, get the spawn. It's not much we can do here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go Mercs just because I've twisted fate. It's a bit, um, it's a bit annoying. I might go this though. I love getting more mobility on AD, it just feels so good, especially now that I play with Flash at the moment. DMP is kind of the gold. But yeah, I still like this build a lot, guys. Like, I'm not gonna lie. It's just like the tempo you get from this, right? Like... The 1v1 potential, the burst, like, it's just all there. still think this is probably his strongest build. And you can, I mean, in late game, you can always just sell your, um... You can always just sell your stride breaker if you don't need it anymore. Or if you think you don't need it. You can just go from there. I'm gonna go bot there, actually. Yeah, this is probably warded, by the way. Yeah. Because I remember we fought then, usually when people fight, the support is just gonna drop a ward at some point, randomly. No bueno. I was willing to tank it. No. It's not worth it. Uh, I was thinking maybe I can do something there, but I think we should have just went for the inhib there. But it's all good. It's all good, we're probably just gonna play Nash and End because we have an open in her bot side, so somebody kind of has to attend that. Usually she's playing for TP, that's fine too. If she wants to play for TP, I don't mind that. Sorry. Overall, we should just go. Just instantly, Carthus is clearing. Now they know that we are on this because she used her ult from... Why are we not just going though? This is so weird. Carthus is not even on this, we just... Uh. No, I'm just half HP.
I'm dead. Can we like fight this? Why is Caitlyn so scared to order? There we go. That's game, I think. That's game. In my opinion, we, sh we should have just forced Nash as full, let RETP in, turn, win. But we just disengaged on it, which is okay. I mean, honestly, that's just fine. At the end of the day, we still got the playoff, and I don't think that they could have actually contested the Nash, but by the way, I think we would have just gotten the objective anyways. All right, guys, let's peep out the stats. I mean, this is like such a, just like the bread and, bread and butter Udi gameplay that like, I don't even really know what to say about it. We don't have to leave a bust anymore. That's good. Oh yeah, I mean, our damage was kind of non-existent this game. Uh, we had some mitigated damage, we had some damage taken. It was kind of just like a game where it was again about objectives. Like usually if I win games hard, it's just me taking objectives. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, give it a like. Subscribing would be much appreciated. And see you guys on the next one. Peace.